So Robbie, in this next part, I'm, I'm dying to ask you um, how you use it because you turned me on to a product last year and I was able to harvest the largest archery buck to date. And a major key reason for that was you turned me on to Barricade. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Tell everybody about Barricade and, and you know, give them kind of a summary of why you talked me into using it and, and why people can benefit from Barricade um, when it's not really the first thing they think of when they think of food plots. Right. Well, when you look at Barricade, when I was out here at your farm last year and I could, I could see how you had your blind set up and I could see how it could be very difficult getting to and from your blind without getting detected from a deer. So when you take a product like our Barricade that will grow eight to 12 foot tall, uh, you know, it, it's the perfect product to put out there to pretty much shield you. Yeah. You know, and not only a shield you, you can also make funnels with it. You can do bedding areas with it. You can do whatever you want with it. But I personally like using it as a shield where you can walk behind it, sneak in, sneak out. The deer don't know you're there in that food plot. Because how many times have you ever got ready to get out of a blind at night and have 30 deer sitting in front of you in a food plot? How do you get out? All the time. Without blowing them out. Yep. You've got to have a product that will let you sneak out. And unless you're hunting in a 40-foot blind, I mean, this barricade is going to be high enough to block out any 8-foot stand, even some 10-foot stand. You can sneak out the ladder, get down the ground, and walk your way out. And you know, another thing I noticed... Um, last year being my first year with Barricade, it, it almost seemed like it was a security blanket for the deer. Was that uh, just an anomaly or is that, you see that, it's almost like they want to walk that line. They, they walk that line and, and the key thing about it is deer, deer like feeling safe in an area where, I mean, personally on my farm, one of my farms, I got a power line through it. Mm -hmm. And for years, I watched cars drive by. I got a big trophy clover plot in there. The cars that drive by, stop back up so they seen deer, get the knockers out there watching, they get real skittish. I can have deer now on that barricade strip that I got playing across there. I will have deer almost touching the barricade on the backside. They're 40 yards from the car parked out there, and they just go on about their business feed, and they don't care. They feel secure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was, uh, it was just such an unbelievable product that I cannot brag about barricade enough it was well, unreal and one thing about barricade a lot of people you know it says it grows eight foot tall in the bag with me i like pouring nitrogen to it if you're getting plenty of rain the nitrogen our jolt fertilizer i mean i i get 14 foot growth out of mine wow. if you pour the nutrients to it you'll get it it'll grow yeah awesome awesome